YouTubers, I'm back. We have time for another one. There's uh, like uh, 11 minutes left. So yeah, commitment, eh? Commit to make that deliberate effort. You know, say, do something, eh? Like, sometimes, though, it's a... Uh, but I, I like the live and direct. The live and direct always make me feel uh, more alive than uh, this and the uh, the stuff that you live and direct is the best. That's why I don't think I'll stop it. I'll keep the live and direct because it makes me feel very, very much alive. It's live, alive. It's a great vibe. I like to connect with you guys. You know, my main thing is staying motivated in life. I have to stay motivated. If I don't stay motivated for life, what else do I? Anyway, me, I don't need much motivation for life. It's natural. And it's always been natural. I've never been crabby, I always had, I always older the joy, always been a joyful, uh, even as a kid I was joyful, like I was always very joyful, very uh, loving, lovey of, of life, so uh, I know this is, many are called, few are chosen, maybe, maybe I'm part of the chosen ones, maybe. I'm starting to, to see this. If, if there is a call, maybe after all, it's all a personal decision to act. Also, it could not be a call. That's a belief to say that I had a call. I took a personal responsibility and a personal decision to act at one point. It's not because someone called me. So that's a belief, but it's a belief that I like. Like you know, it's a, it makes sense also. Because you look around and you see people freaking sleeping big time, and you're like, okay, why do I see this and other people don't? Why I always seen the world different than other people? Other people are very very much okay with what's going on. So, sorry, I'm eating my grape. So, in the spiritual sense of all this, yes, there could be a call, maybe, but also it's a personal decision. Like, God didn't call me. No? I took the decision to start living my dream, and now because I'm taking action, taking action, stuff happened. But that's also inevitable. Eh? You cannot avoid this. Like I said, the moment you start moving out the zombie zone, eh? you're gonna rise and rise and rise and rise and you cannot really stop this. So is it a call? Is it a... I don't know, I'm divided on this. There is lots of personal decision to act. And if there would be a God, and that would be up to him to take responsibility, you would have come down and pressed the reset button before. So it's up to us. It's up to us to see it and to, to make the change. The necessary change. Start going with what's necessary rather than what's easy. You know, we all go for what's easy. Why don't we go for what's necessary? What's necessary for us as a whole? 
what's necessary for us personal no necessary things a belly ring and tattoos and all this shit is not necessary you know this i think is also i'm not saying tattoo or not nice or stuff like that i have one myself but uh no that's not that's not my fo my focus is not on my exterior look i want to look good from the inside that's what i want I want to look good from the inside. I want to let the inside shine, not not the outside. The outside, the the outside. They were all beautiful. We're all beautiful. We're all very charming, very handsome, very. So, but this beautifulness that you have on the outside will shine even more if you're beautiful on the inside. If you have a beautiful soul, a beautiful uh, personality or whatever it is, beautiful soul, it will shine, 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 shine. <coughs> it will shine so much, you'll make people blind. Like the sun is shining so much that we're blind, we don't even... Uh, We don't question it because we have accepted the non-spiritual uh, side of things. So we have accepted to intellectualize everything. And that's what school does. That's what school does, show you how to intellectualize everything. How to put forms, numbers, name, definition on everything. So you don't get out and look at the sun and say, oh, maybe it's not what they say. Maybe it's not a big ball of fire. Maybe there's something very, very spiritual with it that I miss, that I have missed all my life. I think these are questions that uh, should not be afraid to ask. But again, I think that's the fear, probably, that they're not being afraid to ask. So maybe this old fear cultivation inside us over time gives us the, the inability to ask. Maybe. Oh, I'm going to leave you because this is going to... And very soon, I think three minutes. Oh, we still have time. Yeah, maybe that the programming and the nonsense and so much nonsense in our heads and uh, in our lives gonna prevent us from uh, from even thinking, questioning. Possible. So I'll change the battery. I don't know if I'll stay here. I have to change my memory card. This one's full. 22 video on it. I'll go upload it. Now I'll be at page uh, 15 or 16. So this was 480 videos and almost 500 in advance. I'm a video machine. I'm out.